What does a good boy do? What do good boys do? What does a good boy do? Show me what a good boy does. There we go, good boy. Good morning guys. This is very strange because we've never vlogged before. Um, and I look half dead. Hmm. We're on our way to Archbishop School to do our youth program that we do with uh, young people in Bridgend. And we're taking their assembly. Should be good. It's my first experience of a British, is it high school? Kind of? Yeah. Middle school, high school It is a high school, high school age. All right, okay, so this is my first experience of a British school and a British assembly, and the sun is so bright, I'm so dead. I'm also really upset because I tried for like 30 minutes to get tickets to Radio One's biggest weekend because it's coming to Swansea, which is only like half an hour away from me. Um, they do it every year, but you have to live in the area in order to get tickets. So I tried for half an hour this morning only to get the message that they sold out. So I'm really disappointed, but um, a big church day out is also that weekend. So I'm just gonna take it as a sign as God wants me a big church day out. So then maybe I can get some tickets beforehand. Don't know, we'll see. So what are we doing at the assembly? Uh, in the assembly, we are doing this crazy game with them and then we are gonna talk a little, well, so we're gonna sell our lunchtime club basically. So our lunchtime club, um, well, here's what we're all about. We're all about giving young people hope and we believe that every young person needs to know that they matter and they have a purpose for their future. So we are gonna do like a lunchtime club with them and that starts tomorrow. So today's assembly is just kind of pitching that to them, introducing them to the team and uh, hopefully they like us and they say, yeah, I'm gonna come to that. That sounds banging, bro. And in the midst of it all, guess what I forgot? What? I forgot to make a doctor's appointment. Nathan doesn't care about vlogging right now, so I will see you later. So now we're just on our way to grocery shop. We obviously haven't done a shop because Nathan has been in America for the last two weeks. And I've been staying at his parents' house. Um, so they've taken great care of me. But now it's time to be adult and do some grocery shopping. So, trying to eat healthy, trying to go vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I'm not going vegetarian. Why? Yeah, but here's why. So, I did six months uh, pretty much vegan and the only, and I've done it before as well, the only reason I stopped is because Meg can't do it because she, she eats crap and I eat healthy, so. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna wait to see if Megan actually sticks with it and then uh, then I might do it. I do eat crap food. Even whenever I went vegetarian, I just ate mashed potatoes. And chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, I didn't eat chicken nuggets. She did eat chicken I had nuggets. to force, no, 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 slow your roll. I had to force myself. Sushi roll. Shush. I had to force myself to eat a chicken nugget before I went back to America because I wanted to eat Mexican food and obviously like the only, vegetarian option in a Mexican restaurant are cheese enchiladas. So you weren't home and I forced myself to eat a chicken nugget and it was horrible and I hated it. But then I stopped being vegetarian. So I'm going back to being vegetarian and I'm not gonna eat mashed potatoes all the time because that's how I gained a million pounds because now I need to lose a little bit of weight and get in shape. Cause I couldn't even blow up balloons today. Like, and the ironic thing is she is a balloon now, so I'm not joking. How rude! Do you know what? If it's not comments about my face being hey, thinner... Hey, let me just... Fam, this lady here is my absolute rock. I love her with all my heart and all my life, and she's not a balloon. If she is a balloon, she's one of those really thin balloons that, you know, you make them into a sausage dog. She's one of them. She's not, like, a balloon balloon. She ain't no heifer. So the battery is dying, so I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to take you into Tesco with me, but I'm gonna try. And we gonna do some shopping. I've lost Nathan. I don't know where he is. 
Okay guys, so y'all know I love my Mexican food and this is what they have to offer in the UK for Mexican food. Guacamole inspired topping, sour cream, salsa. Why? I don't get it, why? I don't think it's that bad. Sour cream in a bottle, that's disgusting. So, I've got a friend who joined me up in the front seat. This is Franklin. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. We're taking him to get a toy at Pets at Home because he has been such a good boy over the last few weeks. And we're just, you know, since we're not parents yet, we're dog parents and we're gonna spoil our dog child. So he's gonna get whatever he wants as long as it's under 10 pounds. <laughs> Say hello, Franklin. Ooh. And this is how he likes to sit in the front seat. Just casual, just chilling, chilling his beans. Just this isn't a normal day in his life. We love it. hospital um, and I'm getting some blood work taken uh, for those of you who don't know pardon the blanket and the laundry detergent in the back um, for those of you who don't know I know that we've only told kind of our closest friends and family um, but Nathan and I are struggling with infertility um, at this point it is due to a few factors um, but maybe Nathan and I can do a video about that later on because um, I know that it's kind of a sensitive topic um, for him. Um, but yeah, so we've been trying for a baby for two and a half years now. Um, granted, the last two and a half years haven't been easy. So in a way, um, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that we haven't gotten pregnant. Um, as unfortunate as it is that we haven't gotten pregnant there's been a lot of things that have gone on um somebody's pulling up right next to me and this is really awkward so <laughs> hold on so the first round of blood work that i had done um a couple of weeks ago was i had my lh tested and my fsh F <laughs> fsh tested um so that was just to make sure that i was ovulating um i think I think that's what it means or that I have no my egg reserve or something I don't know because this one is if I'm ovulating yeah so the first one was like if I had a good egg reserve and I do um so I'm very thankful for that um and then this one is I will show you so 
So this is the mid luteal phase progesterone. Um, so it was supposed to be done on day 24 of 31 day cycle. Um, I think today is like day 25, but it's a Monday and I know that obviously you can't come and get your blood work done on a Sunday. So they're just gonna have to deal with it. So fingers crossed that it comes back as normal. Oh, there's somebody coming by. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself on the camera. No, no worries, guys. I'm not crazy. I promise. <laughs> In a hospital. Okay. Right. Anyways. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go in and get my blood taken. I'm going to see if I can vlog in the hospital, but I don't think that I can. Um, probably just for privacy reasons. I don't know what, what it's like, but I'm going to ask and see. You never know. Um, not that anybody wants to see me get my blood taken. Um, but yeah. So... We're hoping for good vibes. Thankfully, we are on the waiting list. Um, I got the letter two weeks ago that we've been put on the waiting list to see a fertility specialist here um, at the hospital. Unfortunately, in the UK, um, because it is obviously free healthcare, um, with the generosity of the NHS, there's a long wait. So it's about a 26 week waiting time at the moment. Um, so I think that's around about six months or so. So it sucks um, because obviously we want a baby now and we're ready to, be, ready to be parents more than just dog parents. But I know that God has his timing and what's meant to be is meant to be and when it's meant to happen it will happen so in the meantime my doctor is just doing all the necessary checks um, that they'll want to have anyway and hopefully they can either recommend us for IVF or IUI um, I don't know what they'll say okay so <laughs> I went to go and get into the car and I'm because we have um, the I don't know you like touch it and it unlocks um, keyless entry I was like why isn't it opening why isn't the door opening and I looked inside and I was like since when do we have leather seats and why is the car so clean it wasn't my car so that was awkward so yeah so I'm gonna go home now and um, Nathan's at the gym. Might finish this vlog now. Might make dinner and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. This is our first vlog, so bear with us. <laughs> it's not always gonna be like this. Um, I'm out of breath. Guys, I can't even blow up a balloon. I decided this morning, like I officially have asthma. Like I did not grow out of it like I thought I did. I for sure have asthma, so. Yeah. Anyways, this tape is pulling on my arm, so I'm gonna take it off because it hurts worse than it did getting a stick. So, see you later. So, I just woke up from a three hour nap. I just woke up from, no, I didn't wake up. I've been working and I went to the gym. He's been way more productive than I have today. Mm-hmm. Those are. Love you, doll. Love you too. Anyways, hopefully we'll be <laughs> Vlogging soon. Thumbs up for Franklin. Mm, oh, you stink. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we will be vlogging again soon. And thank you guys for watching our first vlog. Look at my dog's wee wee. <laughs> That's my husband, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you've got. What you're in, you're in for. That's what you've got to look forward to. I just tuned in. Oh my gosh, right, goodbye. I'm now entering the Croft Stadium. Sir Franklin, the Whippet, steps around the Monkey Man, comes up onto the podium, sits like a good boy. And then he comes down to greet his fans. Come on, monkey man. Come and greet your fans. Up into the stands. Give them a high five. Good boy. Come on, Crofts. Ready? Go. Here. Yeah.